Hello, what's up guys? In this tutorial series, we will see reliable ReactJS script operation. So guys, let's get started. If you don't know how to install React and Laravel, then please see my previous video. First, we will change this JavaScript URL and run again. It works. Now we have to change something here. We pack that mix.js. We have to disable notifications because these notifications are cause problem me. So I disable it. I restart the program and pm run watch now I created database here Laravel react tutorial now open dot env file and database will be react Laravel react tutorial now we will create a table here so open common prompt or terminal write php artisan make model here will be our model name data model migration our model has been created this is our data model and also our migration have created here data models now we just add more column string and this name will be name email now php artisan migrate This will create our database table. Now we will be create controller. We will create in a folder called API and name it data controller and as res for resource and enter. Our controller will be created here with some methods first of all we will retrieve our data from database so right here use app models data models and we will retrieve our data so data data model class all we will fetch all data from here return data then we will store our data 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 model dollar data dot name equal to dollar request dot name data dot email equal to dollar request dot email and we will save it now data model find by id we will find by we will find by id return data then we will update our data 
data data model find id we will save name request name data email request email dollar data save for delete data we have to write this data data model again find using id and dollar data dot delete so we did delete data update data editing data and fetching data store new data and fetch data so guys if you want to uh, laravel tutorial series then you guys can let me know so this is our backend now we will set up our route open web we need to provide a route by doing this if we hit any route then our this page will show okay go to api.php currently we don't need this first we need to route this fetching data so write like this like this route git request and our method name is index first we put some data here and if we enter this url we will get our data here now to for data in our react component so let's go back first we create some component we will add bootstrap neighbor so go to bootstrap website and and we will use the bar from here and add a component header.js now change some here such as class class name will be class name we don't need this import we also don't need this here will be about here will be Content. So go to index and add here header import our header component. Now run this.
we don't also don't need this so guys we need to route our page from about to contact so we have to install a package write npm install react router dom installation is complete now import react router dom link here type link instead of hrf we will use to and use about so guys before run this pro program we have to define our route browser router as router switch route We have to create another component home dot chess this is home we have to define our default route here Let's import now. We have to do app.js import here, delete from here and wrap it router here here also also link link this will be two and also here don't give to his hair and go refresh this so it's worked perfectly now we will create a table here so go to bootstrap we will copy this table paste here in home page
let's go back and refresh our page let's change a bit so we have to fetch our data here from using laravel api so we have to need http request so let's install a package called axios npm install axios our axios installation is complete now import we will use react hook so import let's this will be our data say data our initial value is array use effect this is work like component did mount in react component classes if we use react function on component so we have to use use effect hook let's call our API using Exios dot git remember we used git here so we have to use git here our URL we have to give our URL our URL is here this, this is our URL then response set data response dot data now we will display our data from here to table here data dot map data this data data dot map return place here row dot name row dot email row dot id and most importantly we we have to use a key here row dot id this will be our key so refresh our page again this is our data we fetch from our database so guys this is for today in next tutorial we will see how to edit this data so stay with us goodbye